He was penniless when he came to America for a better life after escaping Nazi Germany. And now the wealthy restaurateur wants to give back. CBS 5 reporter Sharon Chin with the man's story of survival and the legacy he has left behind. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Rolf Lewis. 88-year-old Rolf Lewis is giving Dominican University its largest gift in history. So I was really looking for a place to put the hard-earned dollar that I had gathered over the years. Lewis is donating up to eight and a half million dollars to transform historic Meadowlands Hall into a state-of-the-art health sciences complex for nursing and occupational therapy, a gift from a grateful heart. I'm returning to America what America's given to me. This is my brother. Lewis, a native of Germany, was 15 years old when he says the Gestapo threw his father into a concentration camp in 1938 for opposing Hitler. Months later, a commander let the whole family escape. We were, of course, very, very depressed and very, shall we say, sad that the Germany which we loved was, in a way, had turned against us. The family of five fled to cramped refugee camps in Shanghai, China. They scraped by, confined to a 16-block area after Japan invaded China in World War II. We carried suitcases, we uh, dug ditches, we did whatever we could do just to make a living. After nearly a decade in China, Lewis boarded a ship to the U.S. with a relative's help and a heart of hope. He'll never forget the wonder and welcome of the Golden Gate. And here was America, my new home and the future before me. He started with nothing but studied business at San Francisco State University. He cooked up his own restaurant, Rolf, since 1960, near what would become Ghirardelli Square. Lewis ran the restaurant for 26 years, living the American dream. And my heart today is so full of love and care and gratitude to America for having let me in the country in the first place for having given me the opportunity. Come on and have a seat. When Lewis considered bestowing a legacy gift, his wife Valerie, a nurse, suggested the nursing program at Dominican, where he's a trustee. He's expressing thanks for the past by investing in the future. It is for me to be grateful to America. Sharon Chin, CBS 5.